check this little radio out. So, Rutivas sent me their A1 to look over and to share with y'all. I said, sure, I'll take a look at it. And we need to get this off. So the Retivas A1 is a analog HT. It does two meters and four forties, but it also has GPS built into it. Let's go inside the shack and pull up the website and see what other features this thing has that you might like and see what it costs. Let's take a look while we're sitting inside the shack of the Retivas A1, Redivus. I keep saying Retivas, but I feel like it's Redivus. Either way, um, this is a dandy little HT radio that is less than $60. Right now it's on sale uh, for $54.99 as I'm recording this for one radio. This radio is made of you know a nice plastic housing but it just it doesn't feel cheap over here on the side you've got your big push to talk button see that ptt there and you've got programmable soft buttons that you can change in the programming software as of right now straight out of the box this is to change vfo a or b whichever one i'm on to scan and it starts scanning upwards hit it again stops the scan the bottom is push to talk on vfob even though i'm on vfoa k5y vy so that's kind of handy that i've seen in a couple different branded model radios of lately and at first i was kind of wonky about it but now i'm like you know it's kind of cool to be able to transmit on whichever vfo you want to without having to actually hit the A or B button to change it. You just, just hit your push to talk and go with it. It does feature a 1.33 inch screen, which is a pretty standard size for this class of radio. Easy to see. It is backlit as well, which kind of hard to catch in the camera, but you can see it just fine since I have my light on. But what you can't see very well is the keypad is also lit up. Let's see if we can do a little uh can i shade it can i shade it uh, anyway you have to take my word for it right but uh it's in a picture right here that i'm going to scroll across the screen so you actually can see it all right let's go over to the website and let's look and see what all this thing is about now look at here i've got a picture to show you in real life not only on the computer screen but right here on the side, you'll have a plate that covers this when you get it out of the box, held on by this screw. It's part of your weatherproof, your waterproof and dustproof uh, rating. Uh, without this cover, you do lose that rating. Just keep that in mind. But this gives you access to the K-style plug that we're all used to, but this one's a little different. And you have to have their cable if you want to do some PC programming with this radio. One you have laying around is not going to work out very good for you. So also you see USB-C, see it here and you see it over there. But um, the USB-C is for charging the battery on the radio. The battery itself does not have a built-in USB port for charging. It has to be on the radio to be able to be charged outside of its cradle. It is a five watt and it has a GPS built in. GPS function, we'll get to that in just a minute. Multi-band reception, it receives AM aircraft band, FM radio broadcast to listen to your music, your favorite tunes. Radio alias function, so if you want to give your radio a name to transmit out to other radios that can decode a radio alias, then you can use that function. And it has a 2200 milliamp battery. There's a look at the label on the inside. It does contain an FCC ID and your power RF power rating and voltage for charging. Retivas, Redivas. GPS function. Well, 
I can't really demonstrate the GPS function of this radio because, well, Redivus only sent me one radio and you kind of need two to send GPS from one radio to another. But the idea of this is you got your radio and let's just say you don't have anybody around or don't know anybody around or you spent too much time trying to get your infed half wave wire antenna out of the pine trees you know and this done got dark on you and you're not real sure where you're at well if you can hit a local repeater or find somebody on simplex and you can't tell them where you're at because you don't know everything's dark and it's just a bunch of trees or whatnot hit the exit button on your redivus a1 and it will show your gps information and it will display your gps information and your altitude so you know you soda guys if you just want to check your altitude it does have a sensor in there to check for that hit the exit button again and it goes back to your frequency so it's not a bad thing to have it's just like another bit or bob in the toolbox that you ain't got a clue what you'll ever use it for but one day you're going to look at it and say glad i got that multi-band amateur radio it is a dual band ham radio two meters and 440 and as stated it also does the fm music tunes for you to listen to with aviation band reception and the radio alias function i've never really messed with this never really you know had a need to but if you're in a group of folks and you want to name each other's radios uh pacific so you know who's keying up then it has the function to decode a radio alias but uh there's the battery again we've already went over that but we haven't talked about the time it advertises a 15 hour work time and a 67 hour standby time so like traditional on this class of radios the batteries are just kind of magical that they'll stay on for days just standing by or turned off you can turn them on a year later some of these things and they're still ready to go I'm, I'm not saying this one will but that's the census of it there's your usb charging uh little photograph there flexible way to charge so as you can see there's the cradle with the usb-c along with radio vfo mode you quickly punch in frequencies directly to the frequency that you want it is easy to program split and tones from the front face I may never hook this up to the computer PC program software because it's easy enough to do it just off the front of it. Unless I wanted to punch in a whole bunch of stuff at one time. Easy to search frequencies. So check this out. If I'm on VHF and I long press the menu button, it goes into seek mode. It is CQing for any frequency that's coming across its little antenna and go down to UHF frequency same thing hold down menu for five seconds or so comes up it is seeking but now it indicates UHF I'm going to hold down this menu button it's going to seek for a frequency on VHF and this frequency on this mobile radio which is connected to a external antenna outside of the shack is on 147.550 simplex so that's what we should see here momentarily on this screen k5yvy and there it is 147.550 right on the money the link to this website to the product page for the redivus a1 will be in the description and i'll let you if you're like the spec sheets of radios it's got plenty of specs all laid out on the website for just general transmit and receive and some more features that we've already talked about uh, except we didn't talk about weather alarm support so it's got no weather radio alert feature in it you can use that if you wish to do so and i also thought this was kind of neat the radio can automatically switch to received incoming frequencies if you're listening to the FM radio for your local tunes and jamming out to some music there and you get somebody keys up and starts transmitting on the amateur band, it'll cut that beatbox off and go to the amateur radio. 
and you got to have your priorities straight. 999 memory channels, and it can also scan for CT, CSS tones, and digital tones. And it also has a low voltage indication. So if your battery starts getting low, it tells you with a little tone or something, you know? Just, hey, I'm about to run out of some juice here. I need my charging cable. It has three power level options, high being five watts, and then it also has medium and low. So that's a little bit more flexibility instead of just high and low that you get on most of these class of radios. So if you want to know more about the Redivus A1, then go to the website in the link in the description and look at this baby for yourself online and maybe pick you one up just to have another bit or a bob in your toolbox right so you never know and this is a good quality radio red of us puts out some good nice little things even if they don't cost four or five hundred dollars it's not a bad purchase thank you for coming by the video 73.